some of the you know conversations can start with simple questions. It's you know what does it mean if you can make your enclosure half as thick? Um, what does it mean if if your enclosure can withstand you know two x the drop? You can drop it from twelve feet as opposed to six feet. Riley's point is exceptional, and that is understanding what is the business value for those questions is what gives the product design team the leverage to overcome the inertia of doing the same thing that was done last generation. This is Tim Albright with Twice talking about CES 2022 and with me to discuss Eris and their new platforms um, are Mr. Ethan Askowitz and Riley Reese. Welcome, gentlemen. Hey, great to be here. Thanks. Yeah, great to be here. For those who don't know or aren't familiar with Eris, tell me kind of what you guys have been doing. Eris helps portable device manufacturers make them better. Uh, we do that with a manufacturing technology we developed and called additive molding, which takes elements of the aerospace materials world and makes it scalable and accessible to mass produced products. And what we were talking about at CES last year was really the unique performance capabilities this introduces to the consumer product design teams uh, that make the products that surround us every day. And an example of that is our customer Skydio, who last year won the Consumer Electronics Show Innovation Awards uh, with this drone that we helped them produce this uh, unique structure for. You look at the manufacturing process, there are really near near zero waste um and, and this is this is a big deal in the composite world when you look at high performance composites used in auto or aero um you, you have over half the amount of material that ends up in a dumpster because it's cut shape trim and then and then machine the final form and shape we we, we don't waste any material as we're generating the parts um and, and as a result we have a much more sustainable process the material that we have developed that has almost half of the matrix from a renewable material source is recyclable at the end of life and outperforms metal um, is a significant step in a more sustainable direction that also enables leading product design teams to make great products that don't compromise the performance their customers have come to expect of them. 25 years ago, I graduated with a environmental science degree and went to a talk from the founder of the Eco Challenge um, at an environmental careers conference. And he said, most of you won't get jobs in the environmental industry. We need you to go out to corporate America, take your values there and make an impact. And at Eris, you know, we've surrounded ourselves with uh, many people with similar values that are trying to make an impact and move forward, move progress, but do so in a sustainable direction. Um, and, and that is what we're trying to put into the hands of the great product design teams that have been looking for these tools and haven't had, uh, haven't had the option to pull those corporate values and those brand promises that they've made to their customers together. Um, and, and bring them the solutions that the market has been demanding. When we advance humanity, we need to move technology in the forward direction rapidly, but we need to do so in a sustainable way. And this is, this is the balance where we get new capability, and as we're moving towards that new capability, we're doing it in a sustainable way.